Heather. Good evening. Tonight I'm going to read an article written by Jacob Aspel, Seizing Control of Public Education as a Family Affair. Florida lawmakers and their spouses are using a coordinated approach to take control of our public school system. Political families in this state are both creating legislation to benefit charter expansion while building their own charter franchise to profit their friends and corporate donors, all of whom could make substantial sums of money by sitting on a private school board and eventually selling their land and building investments in these schools if they fail. Florida House Speaker Richard Corcoran has made a career of backing policies to cut funds to education while promoting charter school expansion. His wife, Ann, is the founder of Classical Prep School in Pasco County, a charter vying to build new franchises across the state. Mrs. Corcoran is currently trying to create such a school here in Tallahassee, despite opposition from the Leon County School Board and Superintendent Rocky Hanna. Ann Corcoran is also involved in opening another franchise in Martin County with Erica Donalds, Collier County School Board member and Mason Classical Prep founder and board member. Erica's husband, Representative Byron Donalds, has backed Speaker Corcoran's voucher policies to divert public school funds to charters throughout his career. Mrs. Donalds will likely get the new charter, thanks in part to Rebecca Negron, Martin County School Board member and wife to Senator Senate President Joe Negron. Senator Negron wrote the initial legislation for the Florida Tax Credit Scholarship Program, which has since opened the floodgates for policies favoring charter school expansion, including legislation requiring public schools to help pay constitution costs, construction costs, to these privately owned institutions. Ms. Negron and Ms. Donalds also successfully lobbied the state to allow the creation of a separate school board union for conservatives pushing this agenda. The Florida Coalition of School Board Members, President Sean Frost, who is applying for the position of the State Board of Education, and many of his fellow union members, along with their husbands, are publicly supported and financed by the DeVos family and the American Legislative Exchange Council. ALEC is corporate-sponsored bill mill responsible for writing legislation that has led to privatizing prisons and furthering the mass incarceration epidemic. They are also sponsored by the American Federation for Children, which is a conservative dark money group of undisclosed donors promoting school privatization. Now the Constitution Revision Commission, to which Mr. Negron and Mr. Corcoran nominated a total of 18 appointees, including Erica Donalds, has created a controversial ballot amendment to undermine every local school board's power to block unwanted charter expansion. It would give the decision to add new charters to any district to a newly appointed board in Tallahassee. This will pave the way for these privately owned institutions to spread unchecked unless Florida voters take a stand for public schools in the upcoming polls. After all, the only profits made from education should be reaped by our students, not a group of politicians twisting our government to line the pockets of their family members and friends and corporate donors. I would like to know what we will be doing in Martin County to stop this family affair. I'll give you the article because I think it's...